now to a raid in downtown Nairobi, in which several clinics were shut down earlier today. You might be asking why. It's because of something to do with this. Now, the Pharmacy and Poisons Board stumbled on, get this, banned family planning drugs, which they say have rendered many women infertile. Here's that report. The Pharmacy and Poisons Board was hot on the heels of herbal clinics selling dangerous medicine to unsuspecting Kenyans. So they have instruction. The password led us here, the East and West Medical Center, located at Jameson Court on Gong Road. The proprietor of the business, Wei Yint, a Chinese national, finding herself in a pickle when the board officials asked for documents authorizing her to sell the Hubble medication. What she presented was city county licenses and a business permit, but none from the pharmacy and poisons board, allowing her clinic to stock and sell the Hubble medication. We, we came across so many pharmaceutical products labeled in Chinese language. Some were not labeled and we could not tell what they were. So we, on asking her uh, more about them, she, was, uh, she said she imports them, but however the import documents could not be found. So we have confiscated all of them. We have done a total seizure of the products. But what the officials were targeting was this. <laughs> Family planning pills. The officials said the pills have rendered several women infertile. We saw some, some of them that were claimed to be antihypertensives, antidiabetics, uh, uh, family planning products and others that could not be known what they are. So unless they are taken to the lab for analysis, that's when we can tell what they are. The filthy state of the facility left officials perplexed. Used needles and syringes left in the open, posing a medical risk to those visiting the facility. Similar raids at Kamiritho Harbour Clinic and Olive Medical Clinic led to the closure of the businesses. But as this was happening, Dr. Alfred Mutua was also on the hunt of clinics, pharmacies and laboratories located close to any government health facility in Matakus County after issuing a directive for them to vacate three months ago. The directive coming after the governor alleged sabotage of the universal health care plan by doctors operating in government health facilities. Mutua claims the doctors send patients to private labs, pharmacies and clinics instead of providing free and quality health care. The Pharmacy and Poisons Board earlier today conducted raids on herbal clinics that are engaged in the sale of unregistered medical products. Those nabbed in the operations have been detained by police awaiting trial. Patrick Gatua, Citizen TV.